Hey, this is Kayla from 9CI. Today we're measuring various RF meters for their ability to detect very narrow RF pulses, uh, such as those found in smart meters and various other digital sources. For this test, we'll be using the HP8341 RF signal generator uh, that can cover from 10 megahertz to 20 gigahertz. Uh, since we're not comparing these meters for power measurement accuracy on this video, uh, we'll keep the test frequency of, of 2.4 gigahertz um, and the power level of plus 10 dBm. Uh, we'll keep that the same for all these tests. Uh, the transmitting antenna will be a 2 dBi um, gain uh, ducky antenna, again, at the same position all the time for, for these tests. To generate these narrow pulses, uh, the HP RF signal generator will be triggered by a Rigel waveform uh, generator. Um, and we'll, uh, it'll be set up to provide uh, single manually triggered pulses uh, starting at uh, 50 microseconds. And for each of the tests, we'll be dialing it down to 3 microseconds. Here is 50 microsecond pulses. Now 25 microsecond. This is 10 microsecond pulses. And now 5 microsecond pulses. And finally, three microsecond pulses. And now we're looking at the uh, AM10 acoustometer, 50 microseconds. Twenty five microseconds. One, two, three. So it missed, missed one there. Now down to 10 microseconds. I'll announce when I'm doing the pulses. That was one. That was two. Three. Four. Five. So it only received one out of five pulses at... 10 microseconds. Uh, I will not go down to 5 and 3 microseconds because this meter will not be able to measure those narrow pulses. Okay, now we're using the cornet and we're at 50 microsecond pulses. Okay, now we're down to 25 microsecond pulses. This is 10 microsecond pulses. Looks like it missed the first one a little bit. Now five microsecond pulses. It's showing pulses, but uh, I'm not there it registered something. Yeah, so those pulses are showing, but they're, they're very low in amplitude. And here's three. It's got the second one, not the third. It got the fourth one. And it didn't get the fifth pulse. Okay, now we're doing the uh, Gigahertz Solutions HF59B. Um, starting at 50 microseconds, it's okay for us to keep the uh, VBW standard to a standard setting. Um, in order to catch, uh, to catch the pulses on the display, we actually have to put this meter in a peak hold mode. So 
Anyway, here are some pulses at 50 microseconds. And in between, if you want to clear the value, you have to push the clear button. But anyway, it's catching all the pulses at 50 microseconds. Uh, now, uh, to measure narrow pulses, uh, we have to put it into VBW maximum mode. Um, and we have to clear the, the peak hold value. Uh, for the gigahertz solutions meter, anything under 33 microsecond pulses, have to, we have to manually switch modes. So here's 25 microsecond pulse pulses. So it's it's catching those pulses. I'll do another one there. Here's another 25. And now we are doing 10 microsecond pulses. Do another clear in between here. So yeah. So it's catching 10 microsecond pulses. And here's uh, five microsecond pulses. I'll just clear in between. Yep. So it's catching five. And now we're down to three microsecond pulses. I'll uh, clear in between. So good for three microsecond pulses.